We love to escape our reality through fantasy movies. Uh, we like to express our romantic self sometimes through songs. Sometimes I ask myself, what is it that unites India? And I think there are two things. One of them is cricket, and the other is Bollywood. Bridge Kotari believes Bollywood has the potential to transform as well as unite India. It's not simply the films, it's the subtitles he adds to them. This isn't karaoke. It turns out that subtitling popular songs is an enormously effective tool for teaching people how to read. Essentially what we've created is a context in which reading becomes an automatic process. And you don't have to even think about it. Your brain will do the matching of sound and text. It's Gujarati villages like this one that make up Bridge Kotari's laboratory. He's now spent 15 years studying the impact of same language subtitling on literacy. For most of his life, Mahachi Motaji Thakur was illiterate. But years of singing along to subtitles have made up for the missing years of school. No, I Bridge Kotari first had the idea for same language subtitling when he was working on his PhD at Cornell University and studying Spanish. So I was studying in the US uh, and I happened to be watching a movie, Spanish movie, uh, called Women on the Verge of a Nervous Breakdown by Pedro Almodovar. And it had English subtitles. And the thought at that point I had was, that why don't they put Spanish subtitles on Spanish films? And that way we would learn the language better. And then it was an extension. Why don't they put Hindi subtitles on Hindi film songs? And perhaps India would become literate. But would people want to watch songs with subtitles? Or would they be a distraction? Back in 1997, Katari conducted an experiment in order to find out. At a busy railway station, he found a captive audience. At the railway station, what we did was have a TV showing Bollywood film songs with no subtitles, and another TV with the same language subtitles. And we asked people, can you compare the two and say, which one do you like more? What we found overwhelmingly is that people said we like the songs with the subtitles. 
किसी को नहीं लिखा हुआ पसंद है वो हाथ उठाए कोई भी नहीं है जिनको लिखा हुआ पसंद है वो हाथ उठाए सबको लिखा हुआ चाहिए Then the experiment moved to the classroom to find out whether or not the subtitles actually improve literacy. Some children watched songs with subtitles. Some watched songs without. The control group weren't shown any movies. The conclusion: after six months, the children exposed to subtitles were reading much better than the others. Most of the people, children and adults, who watch our programs, if you ask them what do you think is happening with the subtitles, they will say, "Oh, I like it, and it's fun, it's entertaining." But they will probably not tell you, oh, it's good for my reading skills. They don't know that, that it's actually good for their reading skills. The reading skills are being practiced subconsciously and almost by stealth. It takes about three to five years exposure to subtitles to turn someone who's virtually illiterate into a confident reader. Kotari's idea has now caught on. There are 10 different subtitled song programs on regional broadcasters across India each week, reaching around 200 million people. The videos are subtitled in a small office in Mumbai by Kotari's NGO, Planet Read. He says ratings for song programs on television are around 15% higher when they have subtitles. And Planet Read is on the brink of a watershed deal. So we've got the Broadcasting Corporation of India to agree that this is a good idea in principle and should be scaled up nationally. What we've asked for is at least 50 programs a week in all of India's languages to have same language subtitles every week. When I got to know about it, I was, uh, it's, it's something which, which makes you feel good uh, about being, being a celebrity. Rising star Anjali Patil had her big Bollywood break in this film. Chakravyu. She's pleased that her song and dance routine will do more than merely entertain. It was the very same reaction whenever I read a great, brilliant script. It's very simple, but it's very effective. And you're like, wow, I could never think about songs being so helpful or being so effective. And I, I was really, you know, I was really thrilled to see it. For the villagers who've been watching the subtitled songs the longest, the difference is plain to see. Farmer Mohachi Motaji Thakur knows he won't get ripped off at the market now that he can read commodity prices in the newspaper. <laughs> So, for me, it's been hugely satisfying to know that you can actually bring reading to a billion people just with an idea. And I've now gotten even more ambitious, actually. I feel that, well, it's only a billion people in India that we're making uh, read. But imagine if this goes to other countries in sub-Saharan Africa, in South Asia, Pakistan, Bangladesh. They all watch Bollywood-style music videos. Uh, they could be subtitled in their own language. So to know that it's a billion people today, I think I have 10 more years to get at least 2 more billion people reading 
um, in their everyday lives.